Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this look. First of all, I know I look pretty different. I obviously have a wig on today. Um, I was sent these wigs by Powder Room D and I immediately fell in love with them when I got them in the mail. I knew right away that I wanted to film a look based off of this wig. This is the titanium one. I will link it down below. Um, they're really good quality. They're not human hair, but they're synthetic and they still feel really good quality. Like it doesn't feel like... I don't know, like those wigs from like the costume stores and stuff. But um, yeah, I seriously love it. I've always wanted to dye my hair this color. Lavender is my favorite color. And um, this like dusty, dark lavender color is just so pretty. And I wasn't sure how it was going to look on me, but I absolutely love it. And I love how it looks with this makeup look. But yeah, I was inspired by the hair. And I just kind of came up with like this purple halo eye. I really like the purple inner corner that I have in there. I also highlighted with that purple too. I don't know if you can really tell, but... You'll see it in the video but anyways if you guys want to see how to get to this look then just keep watching okay so i'm going to be using all makeup geek shadows today so first i'm going to be taking beaches and cream with a morphe mb23 and using that as my transition then i'm taking petal pusher and i'm doing the same exact thing i'm using that as a transition as well just a little bit more pink toned then i'm taking wisteria with a morphe m441 and i'm just putting that in my crease and i'm going to keep adding until it is the like amount of intensity that i want then I am taking Curfew with a Morphe M443 and I'm putting that in the crease as well but I'm just putting this in there a little bit lower to add some depth. Then I'm taking Motown with a Royal and Lay Nicole BX95 brush and I'm putting this on the outer and the inner corner to start creating that halo effect. You want to leave the center of the lid bare because that's where we're going to put another shadow. And then I'm going to blend the Motown together and put it into the crease a little bit with a Luxie. 231 brush. And then I'm just going to blend everything out with a Morphe M443. Then I'm taking the MAC 24 hour extend eye base and I'm putting that in the center of my lid. This is a primer and I'm just putting that so it has something to stick onto. And then I'm taking Whimsical Foiled Eyeshadow with a e.l.f. not e.l.f. This is not e.l.f. This is a Wet n Wild brush. <laughs> um, I don't know what brush this is. I don't know what the name of it. It doesn't have it on there. But I'm just putting that on the center of the lid and then patting the edges of that to kind of blend it into Motown. And then just kind of going back and forth so everything is blended and looks a little bit more seamless. I'm also going to add a wing liner off camera. You can leave it like this and it will still look perfectly fine or you can add the wing. It doesn't matter. So I already did my foundation and concealer because it gets repetitive. I do it all the time. I do the same thing. But I'm just taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to bronze up my face with an e.l.f. complexion brush. And then to contour, I'm going to be using Makeup Geek Bad Habit with a Luxie 512 contouring brush and just putting that in my cheekbones. And then I'm going to bake under that contour with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm also going to put that on the sides of my nose as well to start baking that area too. To contour my nose, I'm taking Makeup Geek Bad Habit once again with a Morphe M514 brush. And I'm just slimming that nose down pretty much. <laughs> For blush, I'm taking this little teeny tiny Too Faced blush. This is in Your Love is King, and I'm putting that on with a Morphe E3. And then I'm just dusting away all of that baking powder. I'm going to start doing my lower lash line now, and I'm taking the same shadows that we used before, and I'm using a NYX uh, pencil brush, and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line, and then I'm going to take Motown and focus that closest to the lash line. And then I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Orchid Full Spectrum Liner. This is like a really pretty like pale purpley pink color and I'm just putting that on my waterline. Then I'm taking the Makeup Geek Duochrome Shadow in Phantom. It doesn't look like much in the pan but once you swatch it it is so pretty. I'm absolutely in love with this shade um, and I'm just putting that on my inner corners to add that purple highlight. Thank you. 
For highlight, I'm taking Anastasia Illuminator in Starlight. This is like a very white highlighter. It has like a tad bit of pink to it. At least that's what it comes off on my face it does. Um, I'm using an Morphe M501 with that. And then I'm going to mix it with that same phantom eyeshadow that I use for my inner corners to add a little bit of purple to the highlight. And then I'm just taking Starlight by itself and I'm putting that down in the center of my nose just because I didn't want the purple on my nose because I don't know how that would look. So I just played it safe and went with just Starlight by itself. And I'm also putting that on my cupid's bow and on my brow bone as well. I'm going to add a little bit of mascara before I go in with false lashes and this is the pure fully charged mascara. And for falsies today I'm going to be using the Makeup Shack Silk Lashes in Felicia. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the NYX Natural Lip Liner. And then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lovecraft. Alright, so I just put my wig on off camera and this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. As always, everything that I mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. If you guys did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.